Hey kids, wanted to talk about valve guards. And these are the products that go around your valve block and help protect your horn from wear. Now I know there's people that believe that, okay, this gets sweaty and then you've got sweat all over your horn as well. Understandable. And I think there's some validity to that statement. I think it could be quite true that that's the case. Personally, it's a feel thing for me. I just added it to this horn. I like the way it feels because the gold plate for me gets a little bit slippery. So I added this so I've got a little extra grip. If you're going to use a valve guard, my recommendation is get a premium valve guard. This is made by Leather Specialties. I doubt I can zoom in on it. But there's their logo. And you can find them on the web. And the reason I say that is this came with this extra flap here that covers this where I set my thumb. So my thumb goes in here and it helps cover that section that can get worn on your lead pipe. Then it's also got this flap here that when you grab the horn your fingers go on the leather and protect it from wearing the bell section here. Okay. And the other thing that it had, and I customized it for my needs, it had a piece that came over the top of all three of these slides and Velcroed together here. But for me, the problem was when I kicked my slide out and then pulled it back in, that section of leather would bunch up underneath the slide and not let my slide come back all the way in. And the other problem that I was having is getting my whole hand in here. I've got pretty big hands, so getting my hand in here was also a little bit of a problem because the leather took up just a little bit of space. So what I did is I trimmed the two pieces off this and got rid of the portion that went around here. And I customized mine so it's just these two pieces here and then the extra flaps that are right here, okay? Does a great job of protecting the horn. I'm very comfortable holding it. I've got the space that I need. I like the feel of it. Also helps me relax a little bit. I don't tend to want to crush my horn when I play on the upper register with this. But there are those that don't like valve guards. That's totally cool. I think that the valve guard may it's possible that it saves you some wear and tear on your horn. But if you are going to get one, get a premium valve guard. Don't just buy some little guy that all he's doing is wrapping your valve block. Your valve block's got more metal on it than any other part of the horn. You're, it's going to take you a long time to eat through a valve block. Okay? And the other thing that you can do that I don't think a lot of people realize, and again, these just Velcro on and pull off. They're velvet lined soft, comfortable. The other thing that people don't realize they can do is, let's say you've got a lacquer horn, even a silver horn, and you've eaten through a portion somewhere of the plating or the metal, and you've got some pitting, like I've got some mild pitting in the back here, okay? Very mild pitting, and, but if it became much more pronounced, and I actually saw bare brass, or a very uh, rough looking circuit surface with brass, take some clear fingernail polish and touch up that section. It coats it and it seals it. Clean it first, make sure it's nice and clean, and then take some clear fingernail polish and touch that up and it'll seal up that, that section that you're on. So if you're, if, you're gripping your, if you're gripping your horn and you've got a wear mark, where we almost always do, because there's some silver here showing through the gold. If you've got a wear mark and you're really worried about it, take some clear fingernail polish, put a touch on there, okay? And that will keep you from eating into the metal even more. So clear fingernail polish is your friend if you like the feel of the bare horn, which I can go either way. I like this feel, but what ends up happening is I can get my hand all in there and just I've literally ripped off <laughs> rings before. I've, I've had problems where I've pulled my doggone trigger rings off and I find that when I throw on a valve guard it tends to keep me from doing that. I, I, I release 
I release my gorilla hands a little bit more and, and, and don't crush the horn. And the valve guard is super simple to put on. Oops, yeah, see how simple? This one just Velcros on. In the old days, we had these lace-ups. No need for that. Velcro, boom, done. Got a valve guard on. I hold my horn lighter. Hope this helps, kids. Till the next time, have a great day.